gonna be doing chicken stew, pollo guisado. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna chop some carrots, onions, and I got some cilantro here chopped. You could also chop some green peppers if you like. I'm gonna do my uh, chicken stew with um, carrots. Um, I usually add potatoes and chop the potatoes, but I don't, since I don't have no potatoes right now, so I'm not gonna add no potatoes. Then basically what you're gonna need is black pepper, uh, garlic, bay leaves, some seasoning, oregano, and of course, we're gonna need some sofrito. We're also gonna need some tomato sauce and tomato paste, okay? And then we're gonna need the chicken. It's gotta be either chicken thigh, it could be chicken drums, it could be uh, whichever piece of chicken, just put them in um, pieces, just chop it in pieces and make sure it's defrost. And that's about it, it's very simple and that's it. This recipe is very simple to do and just add the stuff that are in there and uh, you see how it comes out. It's gonna come out very, very delicious. Also, we're gonna add some fresh garlic Maybe one or two, three. Some fresh garlic there. We're gonna add some fresh garlic. You know, I like garlic, so I'm gonna add it in there. So, yes, basically that's it. We're gonna add some olive oil. Um, gonna add some olive oil. I like olive oil. We're gonna add, we're gonna add the Onions, and we're not gonna add the um, yet the garlic. We're gonna add some cilantro and the carrots. Looks really nice. We're gonna add the bay leaves. There you go. I'm gonna give it a stir. You wanna leave it there for I wanna say about a minute or two minutes. We add the rest of the garlic there. So I put about one, I put about one spoon of sofrito. Let me get that. One spoon of sofrito. No big size, just a regular spoon. Regular spoon. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit here. So, I'm gonna put a little more olive oil on it. Just a little bit. Just a small amount. Mmm, there you go. So I added the chicken and, and I add one cup of water. And it's boiling. And once in a while, give it a nice mix and stir it. And I'm gonna cover it for a little while. The reason that I, the reason that I cover it, um, is for the um, water to evaporate just a little bit more. All right, so it, it's been like two or three minutes or so. I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. Stir the chicken. Just mix it a little bit. Mix the. All right, add, add, I add, I add. All right, I add another cup of water. And now, I'm gonna cover it again until that water evaporates a little bit more. And the reason I put a little bit more water is because I like my chicken really tender that comes out from the bones. And that's what we're gonna have here. The chicken's gonna come out from the bone. And that chicken stew, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, it's been around five minutes already. And it looks like it evaporated a lot. And it looks really good, it smells amazing. It's carrots. Okay, at this time we're gonna add the tomato sauce and the tomato paste. And also, I did not mention this, but you could add green olives in there. 
and that's like a Puerican uh, chicken stew, pollo guisado, and potatoes. That's the only thing I'm missing, the green olives and the potatoes. But I don't use the green olives because my kids don't like green olives. So I'm gonna wave this one out. But you could use the green olives and the potatoes and it tastes delicious. Not saying that it's not gonna taste delicious, but it tastes really nice if you like olives. The salsa. Let's put it in there. And I'm gonna put some paste. About half a can of paste I'm gonna put. I'm gonna stir it. Stir it nice. Now you can see how thick it's getting now. In my fire, it's a medium, just in case. Delicious, it looks really nice. I gotta put the camera this way. If not, the heat would not let the camera. I just wanna take the time and say thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you like these videos that I'm doing, subscribe. It's free, doesn't cost nothing, and you learn something. And thank you again. And we were gonna continue doing this stool. So you see until the end, it's gonna come out really good and delicious. So I wanna show you how thick is it right now. And that's what you want. Okay, so the time has come. This is done. And of course, I'm doing some white rice. Because white rice goes with stool. So there you have it. Chicken stew with white rice. And chicken stew looks amazing. So once more, thank you for watching my life, life of food. Thank you for your sharing. Thank you for your like, and thank you for your subscribers. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time.